Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey, where I've had a question that has come across my, my comments so many times in the last week. How do you recruit apes to your tribe? Now, I have the biggest tribe available, so I'm not getting any extra apes around, but if you have a small tribe, if you're having a hard time recruiting apes to your tribe, let me show you how it's done, because it's fairly simple once you get a hang of it. So... What's going on is every time you evolve, guys, you have a chance, if you have a smaller tribe, for a hominid to come to your, to your, or close to your camp. So what you're going to do is, once you evolve, you go ahead and look around, look around and see if there's one around you. If there is, that's cool, go up to them, and there's five different things that could be wrong with them, because these guys are needy. You know what, these guys are just, they just have all kinds of problems going on with them, so... Let's go ahead and let's lay down. Where's my bed? Here's the bed. All right, let's go ahead and lay down, and I'll show you the five different types of apes that are out there and what they require. We're going to drop into evolution right quick, and we're going to hit Q to explore. And then, okay, I am going to go roll all the way down here to generous leader. Generous leader. Now, you can befriend. There's four different types of apes out there you can befriend. A hungry one, a thirsty one. There's a frightened one, there's a poisoned one, and there's an injured one, okay? So there's five different types. I haven't found the, the scared one yet. We found one on stream, which is really weird that it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't put that in my thing, in my, in my deal. So I'm not sure what that's all about. But it is a frightened one, and you can comfort them, okay? You can comfort them, and then they'll become, a, 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 you befriend them, and they become part of your clan. If they're hungry, if they're thirsty, if they're poisoned that, okay, you need something that's going to cure all three of those. There is one fruit that will cure all three of these. I'll show you that in a second. If they're hungry, obviously you got to feed them something. It doesn't have to be that fruit. It could be any food. If they're thirsty, it could be a coconut or it could be this, this, other, this other fruit or there might be multiple other fruits that will allow you to cure the thirst. The thirst and the poison are going to be the same darn thing. Okay, they, do, they doubled up on it, but... If you drink enough, if you've ever played the game for any length of time, you know that if you're poisoned, you can drink enough water, it will get rid of your poisoning. So, you can go ahead and you can, you can cure an ape with, with enough liquid that they're going to be not poisoned anymore. And an injured one's going to be most likely a broken bone. It depends on what it is. Um, when you look at them, if it's a broken bone, then I'd say give them a horsetail. If it is a bleed then I would mush up the horsetail and try to hand it to them. And in all actuality, the injured outsider is going to be the most difficult to cure because you're going to want to go ahead and you got to figure out what's wrong with them and you got to give them the proper medication. So experiment, try it out, see what, see what, what works for you, and go ahead and tell me in the comments section what you found because it might be different than what somebody else has found that works. And, and by the way, anything that you found that works Put it in the comment section so that we can have a, we have a little bit bigger of a database, a little bit bigger uh, pool of knowledge for people to pull from. Because the people that are watching this video, they're obviously going to go down in the comment section and look to see what other people have said. So please, by all means, speak up. If you have any information, we truly appreciate all your, uh, all your hard work and your, and your participation. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show you that fruit that I'm talking about. It's right down here. Let me go. Oh, i got to end the expedition. They're going to follow me down there. Give me a second. There we go. Everybody go about your business. Nothing to see here. Grandma's got to go get something. Watch. All right. So there's a fruit down here. This is the fruit I'm talking about. This gourd-looking fruit. This is the one I'm talking about. That makes sure that it's good. Okay. So you go ahead and inspect it. Make sure it's not poisoned. Make sure it still is good. Ah, this one's good. Yeah, she's happy about that. Okay. So so that was what that's the fruit that'll cure almost I think three. Of the five so that covers three of the five of your bases and actually comforting you don't need anything except for your just to just to pat them on the back tell them it's okay so that's four out of the five of the bases guys the only one that might be a little bit of a challenge for you is the injured one so the chances of you getting a ape on your side and coming into your tribe are pretty darn good at this point I think so anyway guys I hope that this helped you out if it did give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do that right now as I always say I am my usual me you be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.